What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Comment here for you. I want to look at this post from last year. And I want to talk about how Clint goes on here to say, hey, we've got no superhero abilities. Zero. Everything is based in realism, authenticity, and game playing. And I think when you look at Madden, where we are today, it's important to understand that this is what consistently Clint Oldenburg has said from day one. And with that in mind, I want to play a clip for you guys from his really first interview that I can find with Madden NFL 13. And I want you to listen to what he says about what he's going to bring to Madden. Glad to be on the Madden team now. I can bring that experience to Madden and make our game more realistic, more authentic. So what specifically have you been able to work on and bring from your career on the field to the new Madden game? Really, since I'm so new at designing video games, I've, been, I've just tried to learn as much as I could. Going forward, obviously, I want to put more into the offensive line because that's what I was. But just interactions, player-player interactions, cutting, blocking, tackling, things like that, just to make it more realistic. I do a lot of different work day to day. I watch a lot of film. I find a lot of you know bugs in the game, things like that. Play the game, make designs. Just analyzing. I mean, I really treat it like football. I kind of watch the game like I would watch tape in football. So, I mean, someone tell me where that went wrong. And there's a guy in one of the first interviews I can find saying all the right things about what he's going to do. Bug check the game, film check the game, go in, find issues, resolve them, make the gameplay more authentic, more realistic. Here you are from 2013 to 2019 saying the same exact things. Realism, authenticity, game planning. Now let's talk about the superhero abilities because we're really just a year removed from this, a little more than that actually. And you've got a scarecrow beside Chandler Jones. You've got a player whose fists and eyes are glowing. Where is the direction of this game for the people that have built and designed it for the last nine years? Versus the impression they are giving the people that buy this game. Because if you don't have a clear vision, then you're not going to give us a clear product. When I look at images like J.J. Watt with red eyes and a bionic arm, I can't value or trust a game developer telling me realism and authenticity. You are selling me something completely different than you're telling me. And I guess my real question is, how long has this been going on? How are you, as someone with your name and the credits of this game, preaching to the community that you're there to make this game better with your NFL experience and then idly stand by and watch images like this project how your game is going to be sold when Nick Bosa comes out with a bionic fist? It doesn't make any sense to me. That tells me that you've got a marketing department and a game programming and development department that are in completely separate worlds. They're not even making the same game. And it's more noticeable this year, I personally think, because of everything going on in the world, we're seeing that disconnect even greater than ever before, but... I have a feeling that disconnect has always been there. It just hasn't been so directly in our face. I'm all for superstar players. I'm all for players that make a difference in a game, make an impact in a game. As a Colts fan, I've got a list of players, some of the greatest that ever played the game, that truly made changes on an offense and defense perspective. But if you ever thought that I thought Edger and James's eyes were going to glow blue before a game or Peyton Manning's arm was going to turn biotic in the middle of a quarter, then I don't know what to tell you. And I certainly don't expect that in the only simulation football game on the marketplace today, according to the contract and agreement they have with the NFL. I don't believe you need somebody with any NFL experience to sit here and put together a game where players' eyes are going to glow, or their arm is going to be bionic, or you're going to show them as some comic book hero. I understand to some this isn't a big deal, but the reality is to understand where we are, you have to understand where we've come from. 
And what we've come from is a consistent message that the game will improve, be based in realism, simulation football, and authentic gameplay to what we see on Sundays. But what's actually happened is a gameplay that is not improved, a fan base that has continued to ask for the same things, and now a company that's putting out an image that directly contrasts what they're selling. Now, Clint has me blocked on Twitter, but I would really love to have somebody send this to him. And honestly, Clint, to a man, I'd love to have another interview with you and try to understand how you can sit here for so many years and sell us a product and then be willing and accepting of what is coming out of the marketing for this game. Because I believe you of all people should be the one standing up in our place and saying, no, this does not represent the product I've been trying to create. This does not represent the vision I've been sharing with the community. And I do not want these images to represent the product that my name goes on. Love to know you guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. You know I will be back in the week with more commentary.